new book that you can pick up right now. Right, right now, it's in stores right now, y'all. Anywhere you have a book. Embrace your weird, face your fears, and unleash your creativity. I am so excited to talk with you about this. Felicia, thank you for sitting down with me. Oh my gosh, thank you for being. I, I have not been to MICC in four years, so this is like, wow, it's just as crazy. Also, people at home who are watching this, they don't understand. We're sitting by a popcorn thing that is the most nauseating smell. I'm about to growl. Every time you open the door. rub it on my body later and get the smell. It is not natural, okay? <laughs> that is not like cocoa butter. Anyway. I'm sure it's moisturizing. Grease is moisturizing. We'll put it to the test later. But let's hear about the book. <laughs> I am so, so this is your, this is not your first book that you've written. No, I have another book I wrote. It's called You're Never Weird on the Internet, Almost, and that was a memoir. It's yes. all about me. So this book is not all about me. It's all about the reader. More than just me. But it's some about me. Can you give me elevator pitch and then let's go into it because I love the idea. I mean, straight from the source, you truly could not get better advice from someone who is a literal powerhouse that just like does shit constantly. I want to hear your advice on how to embrace, get, not embrace my fears, get rid of them. Get rid of them. No, um, <laughs> after I wrote my memoir, a lot of people came up to me and told me how my story inspired them to start creating. I was this weird homeschool girl who went to college really early. I moved to LA just expecting to be famous in a second and it did not work for me. But it actually spurred me to start uh, writing and making videos in my garage, which was the Guild web series. And that, oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I just shot that for six years in my garage. I promise we never had a big crew or a sound stage. Um, and then I turned that into a company called Geek and Sundry, which I left a couple years ago, but there's an awesome, I made a lot of awesome stuff. They're like tabletop, critical role came out of there. And so, I love what I do and the fact that I can inspire other people to um, just embrace who they are and be free uh, with creativity and also just getting their voice out in the world is really important. 